Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Ah, so I just wanted to get on real quick and kind of do a quickie vlog, uh, aside from the vlogist that we're doing, um, because I am getting a ton of messages about this. Yeah. Um, I'll get to that in just a second. Ha! I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> Okay, um, I got a couple things to show you. Yeah, uh, so I am. Um, I, th I'm, I think it's okay to show this. I think so. Um, I am a pattern tester for Crystal at Chronically Crochet, and she just came out with this fantastic unicorn pattern. It's not out yet. It's still with testers. It's a unicorn pattern, and I've been just dying to get my hands on this pattern. Okay, I bought her Mr. Purrs a lot. Loved it. Loved it. It was so easy and fun. Um, and it's really the first amigurumi that I have ever made. Uh, you know, like substantial amigurumi. Right. So I am so thankful for Crystal for putting out an amigurumi that is so fun and easy to do. Uh, there's a couple pieces to sew on, but no big deal, even for an for a amateur like me. <laughs> so I was totally pumped when she came out with the unicorn. It's so adorable. Um, so I right away i i finished my project what that i was doing and i jumped on and started making this amigurumi problem is <laughs> gauge is everything let's just say uh go by the pattern don't go off and like do what you like if, especially if you're new at amigurumi trust the pattern <laughs> I was in, um, I was, I was talking to Crystal the whole time I was trying to do this pattern and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was using <clears throat> two strands of four weight yarn for one thing. That was dumb. Or uh, three weight yarns. No, no, it's four weight. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Honest to God, I didn't have anything in my coffee other than caffeine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, two strands of four weight yarn with a six and a half millimeter hook. Dummy. My wrist from here all the way down to my elbow is killing me. Um, it hurt so bad yesterday that I could barely get anything done. It's not so bad today, thank God. Hmm. But um, I went off on a, a tangent and she told me specifically in the pattern what hooks to use, what size yarn to use. And I went, okay, I'll just do this. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. My pattern did not turn out like a unicorn. Mm -mm. No. But it turned out cute. It turned out adorable. Now, hey, I got a yawn. <sighs> yeah. Sorry about that. I've been holding that in and I'm, it keeps trying to come out and I was just fighting it. <laughs> So, okay, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, so as I'm making this, I'm sending her pictures. And it wasn't until I did the snout that I went, something's terribly wrong here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I went with it. I was like, okay, let's go, let's go. Um, I got the eyes that I got were from dark side eyes in the UK. 
I did a video on this a, a while back where I got the eyes and realized that the eyes were too small. They were not the size I thought they were going to be. And um, Crystal from uh, Ricola's Crochet Corner actually got the size that I wanted. <laughs> so I was like, oh, tradesies. <laughs> no. Um, but anyways, I thought, no, I'm going to use them. And I thought, well, maybe I can fudge it. The problem with these eyes are that they're so deep that when you put the back on them and they snap on, that if you try to put um, a piece of felt behind the eye, like uh, Crystal um, from Chronically Crochet does, it will buckle and the the uh, the fabric will just buckle and it will look horrible and i would hate to put the eyes on and then find that 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 happened and then i've ruined everything <clears throat> so i thought okay i'm just gonna go with it and i'll just order some bigger eyes well guess what they're on vacation their website is down Oh, so now I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just going with this. So, but anyways, um, it turned out cute, but it's not a horse. But I like it anyways. I think she's adorable. So I'm going to show you this. And then when Crystal brings out the pattern then I'll show you I'm going to do another one and hopefully I, I don't screw it up and it actually looks like a horse so um <clears throat> yeah so if you go and buy her pattern for the Mr. Purs a lot you can you can do this pattern okay are you ready are you ready yeah <laughs> it's a unipig <laughs> there's the curly tail and she's got her her little hair but it's a unipig not a horse it's a pig <laughs> oh only i could screw this up so bad <laughs> <laughs> but she's cute and look at these eyes aren't these eyes fantastic like oh my god these eyes are amazing if you do amigurumi i will leave the link down below for the um for the dark side eyes but you see the eyes are too small the snout is piggish and so I just went with it and uh, and made it a pig. <laughs> so I got the curly Q tail. I think she's cute. I think she's really cute. Um, so yeah. But I had the I did the horn black and everything because I had this whole plan and yeah, it didn't work. So that's okay, though, because she's still adorable. So that's my unipig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, chickie. Uh, I want to remind you guys about the care to share that I'm the segment that I'm doing. If you, you are proud of your makes and you want to show them off, send me an email at crochetacanada at gmail.com with pictures of your makes. And I will put them in the segment. I've got a couple of people that have emailed me with pictures, but it's not quite enough yet to make a segment. So I want to wait until I've got a couple more people. So I really want to see what you guys make. 
Okay, so send me an email. Send me some pictures. And, uh, and I, will, I will put you on video. Okay? Not you, but your pictures, you know. Uh, I also want to remember... Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I want to remind you of the vloggist on the cheap episodes that me and Sandy Duda from Leftist Right Crochet are doing. There's a playlist down at, the, at down below. So I encourage you to watch them uh, where Sandy and I give gifts to each other from the dollar store for the whole month of August. It's going to be fun. It's been fun so far. It's only day two. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, also, I made... Remember that yarn that I got? Um, it's the Eco Waves yarn. Of course, I... Hold on. And you'd think after being on, on YouTube for two years, I would get my crap together. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I just choked on my own spit. I'm having a day, you guys. I'm having a real day. Okay. So this Eco, Eco Waves Multi. Okay. They don't, they, they still have this in Michael's, I believe. I got this because I got a lot of this, like 10 balls at least, because I wanted to start making um, Canadian colored project products like um, hat and cowl sets, uh, slouchy hats, beanies. Um, but most of all, my sister gave me the idea of doing Canadian colored pocket shawls. I thought this was perfect. Problem with it is it goes really thin, really thick. Okay, now no, normally I wouldn't that wouldn't bother me so much. Except this really thin is really thin. So you cannot use this by itself without it just being really really sickly thin project like it, you just can't do it even doing two strands of this wasn't enough <clears throat> so I got the eco brights in the white which you can't get anymore I don't think maybe you can down in the states but here it's like they're gone but I paired that up with two strands two strands of this no two I, two strands of the white eco brights to one strand of this and i made a candy cane style slouchy hat and cowl so let's see if i can put this in. uh yep and it's hot as balls, as Lisa would say. So this is going to just be like. <laughs> um, so there you go. Isn't that cute? And all it is, is double crochet. That's it. Just double crochet. Okay. So I made that. Um. I have a lot of this yarn, <laughs> so I'm going to be making a lot of these sets, and I think that they're going to sell really well here because they're Canadian, right? So uh, everybody's looking for Canadian colors. It's crazy. And then, um, oh gosh, I don't remember where I saw it. Beverly? No. Was it Beverly? I think it was Beverly. Oh, I don't remember. I'll put it here. Uh, anyway, she started making um, 
uh, bun covers. And she put the, she got these um, bows that you put in your hair off Amazon. And I went, what a brilliant idea. So I started making some. And then these are just clips, right? And what she did was she put like a little hoopy thing here that's just like three chains. And then she put this clip in the hoopy chain. Hoopy chain. <laughs> technical terms here and so when you have it on on the bun the this keeps the because a lot of times the um, elastics here if you've got thin hair like me this would just slip right off right so you put this on and then you put the clip in your hair and it stays on brilliant so I as soon as I saw that I went on Amazon and I bought like 50 of these things maybe it was more but it was a big bag of them and they were all different colors and I went oh Christmas colors so well first of all I did um, I did I started doing just random um, some of the colors that I had so I did this color with this bow, this colored bow. And then I did the same one, but with a purple bow. And I want to make another one with a, a yellowy bow or something. But then I found I had some Christmas yarn. So I started making Christmas ones. And I was thinking about nurses and stuff, nurses and carriages. I thought this would be just perfect for them at Christmas time, right? So I did that one with the red bow. And this one with the white bow. And this one, oops, with the green bow. So I'm going to make up a whole bunch of these and hopefully sell them at the craft fair if we get to do craft fairs this year. I'm booked for one craft, possibly two craft fairs, um, but I got to find out the other ones. Uh, I think everybody's still kind of nervous about, uh, about doing craft fairs. Like, I don't know. It's like, come on, everybody, get get with it. Like, like, just let's get on with life, okay? I went to Michael's, and I went to find some yarn for my unicorn. <laughs> That's not a unicorn. But anyway, for the hair. And I came across, this won't do the hair for sure. It's too thick. But I came across this. It just called to me. And I went, oh, I have to have it. But in the store, it looked a little more red. And then I got outside and went, holy crap, that's pink. But I still love it. It's Charisma Tweed Hues. And it comes in a, a whole bunch of different colors. But this one really spoke to me. Like, I don't know. It just, it's, it's really pretty. And I'm not a huge pink girl, but this just, I don't know. It's really, oh, yeah, it's, it's hard to, like, it's pink. It's cotton candy pink, really. Like, this, look, it shows up too light, but it's a cotton candy type pink. And it's so, so pretty. So, I got about five of them. Um, and I'm thinking I might try to put this with something else and make a sweater maybe so yeah so go check out your michaels because they've got a whole bunch of these in different colors they've got blues greens you name it they've got it <clears throat> but this one just really really spoke to me <clears throat> excuse me
Okay, on to the piece of the de, 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 <laughs> piece to resistance. Never mind. Let's get on this. <laughs> oh man. Okay, guys. Yes, I did this in all latte. No, it does not fit me again. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, <clears throat> you should have seen me trying to get this on. It was like a contortionist and I was just like, okay, Sandy, just admit it. You're too fat. It doesn't fit you. <laughs> so again, <clears throat> excuse me, again, it's a small, small to medium. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. This is called the Mary Jane Wrap. Okay. I saw this on a Facebook group and when I have to have that. Uh, she did it in just regular yarn, but I thought I'd be a little more bougie and do it in latte cake. I've learned a lot about latte cakes in the last two things that I've made. Uh, the wrap is by Hello Gabby 88. Um, she has an Etsy page, so I will link that down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what I learned about latte cakes is it doesn't always stretch properly. And sometimes it stretches too much. <sighs> If you're going to use latte cake and do a chain, just a regular chain, and then do double crochets or whatever, it doesn't have a stretch. Ooh. If you do a foundationless double crochet chain or half double crochet chain, it will stretch. Um, so when I did this, that side or this side? This side was the found uh, was the double crochet or was the chain. It didn't have any stretch. This side had some stretch. So trying to get the bottom piece over your body when you're a big girl, it doesn't want to go. Uh, so it's beautiful. I love the way it turned out. But unless you're a smaller medium, it won't fit. And this is supposed to be a 2X. So if you're using regular yarn, I bet you it would fit no problem. No problem. Um, <clears throat> but that's okay. Because I realized that this piece would probably go on to your hips or so. And I can't wear anything that just goes to my hips. I got to wear something a little bit longer because I got the tummy thing going on. So, but that's okay. This is going to be beautiful for someone else. Um, yeah. So there you go. The Mary Jane wrap. Yes. Uh, I, oh, and the Mary Jane wrap had long sleeves. I just went to three quarter sleeves because I was just so, so tired of doing it. <laughs> it's just, mm -mm. If you know anything about latte cakes, it, uh, it's like a size two, three. Yeah. The fluff, it says it's like a five. It's not. So, um, latte cakes paired up with something else. Like if you're using, uh, like a regular four weight yarn or something with a latte cake, it's gorgeous gorgeous. It's like this, right? Then it will stretch because it, it goes along with this, right? So, um, and it's so comfortable, right? But if, if you are trying to do something in, like I did a sweater, um, gosh, when I first started my channel, I guess it was, I did a cardigan with the latte Beautiful, but again, turned out into a small. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking over there. I 
I made a shawl or something over there in the tomato latte. What the heck is that? I think it's, <laughs> I don't even know what I made anymore. <laughs> anyway, so just be forewarned, if you're using latte, make it like an extra couple sizes bigger because yeah if you're if you're trying to get something that's fitted like this yeah so there you go guys mary jane wrap okay that's about all i have to tell you guys i think uh come back tomorrow <laughs> and see what else i got from sandy duda at leftist right crochet 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 i gotta get off here guys i just i i either need more caffeine or something but i need i need something i need help send help okay <laughs> i will talk to you guys later i love you <laughs> okay bye